Hello everybody, welcome back. In the last lesson we did some counting in twos and maybe you've been doing some practice around the house counting things in twos. Well done if you have, but don't worry if you haven't because in this lesson we're going to carry on practicing and learning some new things about counting in twos. Do you remember in the last lesson we used numicon pieces and we found all the multiples of two and we put them against a number line, didn't we? Can you remember what the numbers are called if they haven't got a numicon piece by them? Have a look at the number line. You see that one, three and five, they haven't got a multiple of two numicon piece by them. Can you remember what sort of numbers they are? Did you remember it's odd numbers? So yesterday we practiced counting our multiples of two by whispering the odd numbers and saying out loud the even numbers. Should we have a go at that today? So we're going to say zero and then whisper one. Are you ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I hope you said those teen numbers really clearly. Let's just try now counting backwards and we'll just say the multiples of two. That's a little bit trickier, so I'll leave the number line there for you and see if you can join in with me. So we'll start at 20, and go all the way back to zero. Are you ready? 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, zero. Well done everybody. So here we've got the number line without the numicon pieces. Maybe you'd like to pause the video here and just have a little practice saying the multiples of two, first going forwards and then going backwards. If you get really good, I'm sure you can start to do it without looking at the number line, but it's there if you just want to check. Go and have a little go. Do you remember in the last lesson we showed you some counters and these counters are really good for helping us count in our multiples. We can think of each counter as a group of two because there's two dots on each counter. So we can count the groups, one group, two groups, three groups, or we could count them as one, two, two, twos, three, twos. And we can also count the dots by using our multiples of two, two, four, six, that's six dots. So three groups of two is six, three twos is six. And we're going to use these counters in the rest of the lesson to practice our counting in twos. Maybe you managed to make your own counters and if you did I'd like you to lay them out in front of you just like I've laid my counters out here. Can you see there's a, a line with can you see there's five and then one underneath? See if you can put your counters just like mine. Perhaps pause the video for a moment so you can do that. OK, did you manage? Well done. So now we can count in both ways. We can count how many groups of two or how many twos. And we're going to count how many dots altogether. Now I'm going to show you with a pen, but you can touch your counters. And again, you might want to pause the video. So first we'll count the groups. Are you ready? So we'll say one, two, two twos like that. One, two, two twos three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos. And do you want to pause and do it just like that? Check that you've got six twos. Okay, well done. Okay, now we can count how many dots there are all together. And that's when we're going to be counting in our twos. So we can say two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There are 12 dots and there were six counters so we can say six twos are 12. We can use our counting also to find out how many groups of two we've got and how many dots all together. So we can say it like this can't we? One two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos, seven twos. Seven groups of two. And then we can use our counting in multiples of two to find out how many dots altogether. 
you need to join in with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen dots on seven counters. Seven twos are fourteen. In a minute, I'm going to ask you to go and find some things from your house with permission from your grown up that you can collect and that you can use to count in twos. Now, in the last lesson, we counted things in twos like socks and shoes, things that always go together in pairs or in groups of two. But you can count anything in twos. They don't have to be things that usually go together in twos. Maybe hedgehogs. I don't think hedgehogs normally go around together in twos. But in this picture, I've put them in two so we can practice our counting. OK, so remember, we're going to count in two ways. We're going to count first one, two, two, twos, three, twos, four, twos, five, twos, six, twos, seven, twos. The seven groups of two hedgehogs. So now we can use our counting in multiples of two to find out how many hedgehogs there are all together. So can you join in with me? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So seven groups of two hedgehogs are fourteen hedgehogs all together. Seven twos are fourteen. Right, it's your turn now. I'd like you to go and find some objects from around your house. Do check with your grown up first. Maybe you could go and get some Lego pieces or some building blocks, maybe some pieces of pasta. OK, just go and collect some things, perhaps put them in a little tub or a basket if you can do that and then come back. OK. Did you come back? Great. Well done. Well, I've got some things here. Look, I've got some pebbles I collected at the beach last time I went. OK, and I'm going to count these. You watch me and join in with me and then it's your turn to have a go at yours. OK, to make sure I'm doing some really careful counting, I'm going to count them into my lid here. Okay, I'm going to put the pebbles down and just count one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go, I've got fourteen pebbles. You were probably thinking there's a quicker way to do that, isn't there? And now that we're good at counting on our multiples of two, we could have done it like that, couldn't we? I'm going to put them down and have another go. So we're counting twos this time. So there were 14. I wonder how many there'll be this time. Shall we find out if we count in twos? Are you ready? Now, if I count in twos, I need to pick up two at a time, don't I? OK, otherwise it wouldn't be a group of two and I couldn't use my counting in twos. I wonder if this is going to be quicker. Shall we see? So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Ah, that was fourteen again. Of course, there's 14. I didn't put any extra ones in and I didn't take any out. So our counting in twos gives us the same number as if we counted in ones. Do you think it was quicker? I didn't have to pick up as many um, times, did I? Whenever I picked up two, it got a little bit quicker. Right, it's your turn. With your objects, see if you can count in twos. Now, it might be that you end up with one left over. If there is, if that happens to you, could you just put it to one side? Because for this lesson, I just want you to be practicing counting in twos. OK, so pause the video here. Have a go yourself. Now, something else you could do to practice your counting in twos and to check that you got it right is to use our counting backwards. So we got to 14, didn't we? 14 pebbles. And I'm going to show you that I could take two out at a time, put them away, and then we'll see if we get to zero when there's none left. Okay, 
bit tricky going backwards. I'd like you to help me. Mm, there were 14. 14. 12. 10. 8. 6. 4. Two, see, zero, they're all gone. So you could practice counting back in twos by taking two of your Lego or whatever it is you've got out of your box and putting it away. Off you go, go and practice that. So we've got some hedgehogs again here, but this time you'll notice they're not tidy in twos and they're not in a straight line. So it's a little bit trickier to count things that aren't organised tidily. What do you think I could do? I've got my picture in front of me. How could I count the hedgehogs? Maybe you're thinking you could touch two at a time. Mm, I could do, but then I wouldn't know necessarily which ones I touched. Maybe you're thinking I could draw a ring around two hedgehogs to put them into a group of two. Should we try that together? So we'll count how many hedgehogs we've got. So we can count in twos if we put a ring around two hedgehogs at a time. Are you ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There are twelve hedgehogs. Well done. You might be wondering how many groups we made. Can you see? Maybe if we draw a line through them, we can see how many groups it was for 12 hedgehogs. One, two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos. Six twos made 12 hedgehogs. Well done. Now let's see if you can do some drawing round things and putting things in twos. See if you can get a piece of paper what I'd like you to do, I'll show you and then you can go and sort yourself out. So I've got my paper and I'd like you to draw 16 sweets and you can count them as you draw them. Now, they don't need to be really fancy sweets, otherwise you'll be here for ages. I think my sweets are just going to look like that. One sweet, two sweets, three sweets, four sweets, five sweets, six sweets. And I'll keep going until I've got 16. OK, can you go and do the same? So did you manage to do that? So let's see if we count our sweets, our 16 sweets in groups of two. We can have a practice and see also how many groups of two make 16. So are you ready? So I'm going to put a ring around my two sweets at a time. Try and pick the sweets that are closer together. So that's one, two, two twos, three twos, four twos, Five twos, six twos, seven twos, eight twos. Eight groups of two sweets are 16 sweets altogether. Eight twos are 16. So pause the video and you go and check with your sweets. Another way for you to practice your counting in twos is by starting from different numbers. So you could practice counting how many groups, maybe put some of your counters down, just look and see how many there are. Like here, you can just see there's three counters or three groups of two. And then you can count on from there, first counting how many groups, and then we'll count the dots. So I can see three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two, seven groups of two. Now let's count forwards from different multiples of two. You don't always have to start on two. So you might know how many dots there are on those three counters. You might know by now that three twos are six. So we can say six to start with for what we can see. What will the next multiple of two be after six? Can you think? Do you think it's eight? 
six, eight. That's it. So join in with me. We'll say six to start with for the six dots that we can see. And then we'll count on from there. Are you ready? Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So it's 14 dots on seven counters. Seven twos are 14. You can practice counting forwards from different multiples. So start with a number that you know already. I know that two twos are four. So I'm going to say four and then I'll count on. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14. And of course, I could also go backwards. 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. So see if you can put some counters down and count forwards and backwards from different multiples of 2. Well done, everybody, for all your hard work in this lesson. There's lots of ways you can practice this at home, either inside the house or if you're lucky enough to have some outside space, you could do it outside. You could find some collections of objects. And you could count them in those groups, one group, two groups, three groups or just one, two, two, twos, three, twos. And of course, you can use your multiples of two to find out how many things you've got all together. So there's lots of ways to practice to get really, really confident. Good luck, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.